Hello and welcome as we continue into the month of May with the theme of nature. Last week I shared with you about forest bathing and this week we're going to learn a little bit about earthing and I don't know if you've ever heard about earthing. It's something a little bit new. I've just recently learned about it and earthing is grounding and synchronizing your body with the natural rhythms of the earth and it's really healing and when your bare feet touch the ground you receive electrons it's very electric that flow through your body that will really benefit mentally emotionally physically especially physically and the earth is here to support us without us even knowing it this is something that I'm very excited about because this is a new thing and I've been going out in the backyard walking around uh, barefoot and it feels a little awkward but it feels really good. It's like you know, when you're a kid you run around barefoot all the time and grounding therapy is known for the same health benefits that you receive from forest bathing. And it isn't just about taking off your shoes and putting your toes in the dirt. It's about really immersing yourself in nature, getting physical touching, feeling, and really when was the last time you laid down in the grass to get that skin to earth connection, as I was just talking about, or went to the ocean and went for a swim and felt your, your feet in the sand and the seaweed squish between your toes. And now that spring is here and the days are getting warmer, it's actually getting a lot warmer in my part of the world, it's time to kick off your shoes and connect with Mother Nature. I watched an inspiring, informative documentary on earthing a couple of nights ago that I highly recommend and I have left a link below. It's on YouTube so you can check that out if you're interested. And I'm going to switch back a little bit about forest bathing. When I sent my newsletter out last week, I received an email from a haiku poet. His name is Michael Dylan Welsh. He's really well known in the haiku community and was a mentor for me when I first started writing haiku years ago. And he had written an essay called Haiku and the Art of a Forest Bathing. And he writes about the connection between these two beautiful healing modalities and how haiku poets seem to experience the world with an enhanced awareness and this is really what my message is is for people to learn about haiku really not so much about the poetry itself but around the healing and the awareness and the way haiku poets tend to look at the world I have left a link below uh, as well if you're interested in reading his essay about that and it's really inspiring and beautiful. So what do you do to ground yourself? Beach combing. The ocean smells strong beneath my feet. Beach combing. The ocean smells strong beneath my feet. For those of you who received my newsletter might already know about Senses for the Soul, which is a digital mindfulness kit that is an invitation to dive deeper into the intimate world of wonder, connecting our immediate world to us that serves as a bridge to our senses as a tool for mindfulness. I have left a link below if you would like to learn, learn out, learn, find out more. And if you would like to learn more about Everyday Haiku, click on the link below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and please sign up for my free Haiku newsletter for weekly inspiration that these videos are based on. You can sign up on my website that is also in the link below. I will post another video next week, so I will see you then. Thank you.